Here is how I've never fallen into a side piece situation. I can't even relate to you guys, honestly. Normally when I make these videos or episodes, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna pull from experience and I'm gonna get into the minds of you and I'm gonna ask the hard hitting questions and then I'm going to rebuttal it. And I'm gonna play devil's advocate and yada yada. I really try and inform you guys and give you guys the best advice, both personally and from what I've researched and from my clients and all of that stuff. But today, Baby, I draw a goddamn blank. What the fuck is this side piece and why are you all struggling with this? And here is the common denominator of all your issues as a side piece. If you allow somebody to treat you as an afterthought, that is what you will always be. That is why you will notice that side pieces never really become the main things in the dynamic that they're entertaining. Oftentimes they do want to be the only girl that he is speaking to or she is speaking to. But they can never get out of that position because you have put yourself in that. You have shown them that time and time again, you should be treated like a side piece. How did you get there? Let's dumb it down. Disrespect, no matter how big or small the disrespect is, is still what? Disrespect. When I say disrespect, you think, oh God, he's got to cheat on me. He's got to be really rude. He's got to be abusive in some way, shape or form for it to be disrespect for me to say, no, I am done and I'm not putting up with this shit false motherfucker it starts off small always if you respond to a 3 a.m text message what you are saying is i am your 3 a.m little bitch when you respond to a dm that says you're hot and you suddenly melt he knows that that's all it takes when you send him nudes when he asks you and you are not on that level yet baby you don't trust that motherfucker with your life you are saying i am side piece material because a serious woman would never engage in this behavior, would never accept this, and wouldn't even spend another millisecond entertaining it. Stop telling him to come back correct. Stop telling him that last minute dates are not really appropriate and I need an advance warning. Because here's the thing. If that man was able to have access to his dream girl, his crush, celebrity status, whatever the fuck it might be, do you think he'd treat her like that? No. And that's going to hurt a lot of you guys because then you're going to start to reflect how your current person that you're entertaining is treating you. And you're going to realize that you are nothing to them. People will show you what they think about you and how they feel about you based off of their actions and not what the fuck they say. 3 a.m. text message and you respond because you are flattered. You're flattered. I'm going to give you the reality check here. You are part of a roster. And if you don't answer that 3 a.m. text message, somebody else will. And a lot of you guys act in fear, worry that this guy will stop texting you. So you give in to bullshit behavior already by default, accepting the side piece position. Here's the thing. If you fear, if you fear of losing a motherfucker who disrespects you, what you're saying is, is I want disrespectful men around me. I want disrespectful people around me. So you act out of fear to have him linger on longer just so that he can disrespect you more. Does that make any fucking sense? It doesn't. And then you're out here crying and being upset about why you are this girl to every guy. When you continuously accept bottom feeder, bare minimum, garbage, disrespectful behavior because it is disrespect, you are molding yourself into being a side piece kind of girl. You will never be the marriage type. You will never be that bitch. You will never be his one. You will never be the girl that makes the bad boy turn good because you be acting like every other fucking side piece. So what makes you different? Here's how I've never been a side piece. I never entertain nonsense. I don't care if I want something casual in that moment. When I was single, guys, I was mingling with guys, having the time of my life, but none of them treated me like some bitch even if I wasn't a long-term person for them, and even if I didn't want to be a long-term person for them, nobody treated me with disrespect. And if they tried, I would cut them out in a second. I didn't need to think. I didn't need a conversation, nothing. I had all that I needed to have. All the information was right in front of me. All the information is right in front of you. You have just taught yourself that in order for the blow to hit less hard, that you have to tweak it in your mind. So the 3 a.m., text that is disrespectful is now flattery oh so sweet he was missing me he thought about me he chose to message me no bitch he thinks that you are going to respond to a 3 a.m text message that is already disrespect he already is telling you that he views you like some fucking side hope 
if he messages you on Instagram and, and oh, you're so hot and heart eyes and like weak bullshit things and you respond, even if you respond, fuck off, you're still giving a response. I want you to start dumbing it down because I think a lot of us need it. Just like I said, any form of disrespect, no matter how big or small, is still disrespect. No matter what the response is, you giving him shit and being like, don't fucking talk to me like that. Or here's a picture of my asshole. It's still a response. You're still showing that there is a willingness of entertaining this, a willingness of interacting with this. And what does the universe do? Whether you believe in it or not, it gives you more of what you feed into. More fear. Here's more fear, baby. More fuck boys. Here's more fuck boys. That's it. Every single time I've cut a guy off with the slightest disrespectful move, no explanations asked, they all come around, they all try again. Do I give in to that? No, I don't care what you pull. I believe that everyone has a chance to do good and be good. And if you choose to do the opposite, I see that you don't care about me. Don't think about how it, it, it would affect me. Why would I want to be around somebody like that? When trust me. There are more people on this planet that I could entertain myself with and talk to that are 10 times better than you. And it's not about comparing everybody to one another. It's about there are good people out there and there are shitty people. And which one am I choosing to interact with? It's that simple. You think that you're the only person that feels like, oh God, there's only bad people, only shitty people, only fuck boys. The whole world sucks. Dating life sucks. Dating is hard, blah, blah, blah. You think you're the only one that's going through that? There is an equal person out there who feels the same way, who's going through the same thing and is looking for a breath of fresh air. If you entertain somebody who has different intentions than you, you're going to be disappointed. A lot of you guys don't communicate what you want and don't stand by what you want. You might talk and say, I'm looking for marriage. And he doesn't listen to what you have to say. He doesn't care because men are very action oriented with how they do things and how they receive information. Show them. You text me at 3 a.m., I'm gone. And if they do that to you, it's because they think they can do it to you. Do you understand that? Let that register. Let that sink in. If a man treats you with disrespect, it's because he thinks he has the right to do that or he thinks that he can get away with that. He, he looked at you and said, I think you would, you would deal with that shit. I think you would send me a random nude. I think you'd answer my 3 a.m. phone call. That's rude that you think that of me already. You think that of me. I don't want to entertain you. Do not waste my time. It comes down to valuing your time. Everybody will tell you, oh, no, you have to be confident in your self-esteem and this and that. That is a lifelong process, and I will never undermine how hard it really is to fully love yourself and to, you know, get to the point where you're so confident and blah, blah, blah. I understand it's a battle, and I deal with that every single day regardless of how it might come across to you guys. But at the end of the day, what I do to maintain that, to stay on that path, is I am action-oriented. If I feel disrespect, I remove myself from the disrespect. I don't care about you because you don't care about me. I don't like you because you don't like me or you don't value me. I will never chase somebody that shows me no interest. I will never like somebody that treats me like shit because on what grounds, on what grounds do I have a right to even like this person if they're a piece of shit to me? Where do you get off entertaining? What, he's hot? Big fucking deal, baby. In a few years, he won't be so fucking hot. With all the girls he's running through, he ain't so hot. With the way he's treating you, he shouldn't be so hot. Check yourself. Because when you say, I don't know why I'm always the side piece or the secret or why nobody wants to commit to me. What have you been doing? What role did you have in this? Because you are not a victim. You choose to be a victim because you don't want to deal with your shit, because you don't want to change, because you feel so worried that nobody's going to care for you or like you or give you attention. So you jump on everything that you can get. And a lot of you guys mask it with like this hard exterior, like, oh my God, like, fuck him, fuck him. Yeah, so why are you answering his phone calls? So why are you answering his texts? Why is he not blocked? I always ask that question. Why, are this, why is this person not blocked? Why do they even have access to you? Here's the thing. If you actually value yourself and if you want to take yourself from side piece status to fucking wifey, I will drop everything and anyone just for you. You have to cut your ties with all the people that bring you back down to that level of side piece. If a guy treats me like that, I don't care if I know you or don't, you're done. Do not cramp my fucking style. Do not fucking bring me down to your level. I don't want to be associated with people like you. That's why if the people in your past are not blocked, you need to do that. You need to go through your phone and clean up that fucking phone. You need to clean up your fucking life. This is another action-oriented step, thing you can do right now that can take you from here 
to hear already. Maintain that. Don't be swayed by bullshit. Last minute dates, that's disrespectful. You think I'm sitting on the couch waiting for your bitch ass? You think I don't have plans? You think you just squeeze me in? No, no, no. I wouldn't treat a guy that I like that way at all. A guy that I respected? No way would I even think of doing that. That's so fucking disrespectful, isn't it? Sometimes reverse the roles in your heads. Get some perspective. Zoom out. See the bigger picture here. What, you think you're going to change him? If you want to change him, if that's your mission, you will always be the fixer-upper. You'll always be his therapist. You'll always be his mom. That's the role you will always hold in his life. And the minute you pull away from that is the minute he says, bye, I don't want you anymore. Because the way you act at the beginning, the role that you occupy in his life at the beginning or in her life at the beginning is the role they expect you to show up as every single fucking time going forward. That's why when I tell you to be yourselves, it's not a cheesy thing. It's literally show up as you because you're going to have to maintain that you and be you if that person likes who they see today. Because if tomorrow you pull out and say, no, I'm not your mommy no more. I love myself too much. They're going to be like, the fuck? Who is this? Who is this? Just like if he switches up on you. Same shit, baby. Moving forward. Here is what you do. Any form of disrespect, no matter how big or how small, you are not going to accept it. You are going to reject it. You are going to stop entertaining it. I want you to drop them like goddamn flies. And it's not because you think people are disposable. It's because you don't come from a lack of mindset thinking there won't be anybody else. There won't be better. There isn't enough people on this planet. Yes, there is, bitch. There's too many people on this planet. So instead of giving you theories about lack mindset, about manifestation, I'm trying to dumb this down, make it more realistic for you guys. But it's all the same notion. You're either a side piece or a game changer. When you do these things consistently and you don't accept disrespect, what you're doing is you're making more room in your life for better, bigger and better. There's always bigger and better. And that's what I got, bigger and better. Every single time I rejected a fucking loser, I got better. I broke up. I dated a guy, whatever happened to, things happened to go wrong. Maybe he disrespected me again. Maybe he tried to pull those things, you know, whatever. I said no and I dropped. Bye, ghost. You'll never find me again, sir. Ciao. I didn't want a message. A lot of you guys, when you drop people, you want the whole, oh my God, I fucked up message. Oh my God, this. I'm like, I never gave any of those guys the opportunity to even do that. Some of them fucking got so desperate, they'd send me fucking mail, snail goddamn mail, because there was no way they could contact me besides writing me a handwritten note. And the key here is, is don't fall prey into those gestures after the fact, because some people are not used to getting rejected, not getting what they want. So they will try and win you over. It's a game to them. And once they win you over, then they'll go back to their old ways. A person doesn't change in a matter of just a few months. It takes a long time to rewire yourself because that's what's needed for somebody that treats men or women disrespectfully and thinks everyone's an object and everyone's disposable, right? When you behave this way, you will see how everybody's going to crawl right back into your life because you're like, fuck, she wasn't a side piece. Fuck. The one that got away. Fuck. Use that as a confidence boost if you want, but do not fall prey into that because the right person won't be there to fumble you ever. They'll know what they have and they'll treat you as you deserve because the way these people treated you is what they thought you deserved. And that's criminal. And that should insult you. And that should insult you enough to say, cut, bye, ciao, never again. Thank you so much, guys, for being here and for watching, for listening to me. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe, as well as hit the bell for the notification so you don't miss more of these mind-altering, life-changing videos that I promise you will come in handy throughout your lifetime outside of the dating world as well. Make sure you rate my podcast, Five Large and In Charge Stars. Listen to it over and over again when you need a little boost, a little change up. Make sure you're following it. Share it with your friends. It means the world to me. And I appreciate all of you for being here. I'll see you guys very soon. Take care.